Welcome everyone to this Capgemini Invent Talks video about asset performance management. Together with Florent Pries, we will have a conversation about this topic in more detail. Welcome. Thank you for inviting me. I was wondering, uh, what can you explain about the basic definitions of asset performance management? Today, by using mobile technology, connectivity, uh, you can actually bring the power of centralized computing to a business that is, by definition, local. Uh, doing maintenance is something that you do on-site, not, not near an office uh, and, and, and not near computing power. But today you can actually bring the data out of, out of the factory at competitive cost and have the, uh, have the aggregated data and the analysis ready at hand while doing the work. And that basically allows you to act upon a real-time view of the state of the assets. You can actually say the health of the asset. Mm. So that's very interesting, but how does that exactly work? What you do is, is you, you, you broaden the, the data horizon. So you take on board uh, data from the process itself, from the machines, uh, data that you would normally or traditionally only use as threshold values. If needed, you add sensoring and connectivity to your installation. So you bring on data that is traditionally not used for uh, measuring asset health. You combine that with uh, the execution of the maintenance work and the tracking of that, mm -hmm. and thereby create an almost real-time view upon the health of the asset. Uh, for this, you use the whole breadth of connectivity, data aggregation, and advanced analytics, so mm -hmm. stuff like machine learning and deep learning. You uh, are able to say, say something about the probability of failure of the assets and its different components. This is what we can do with technology and advanced analytics and products that are actually uh, in our vendor network. So what are the actual challenges that businesses are facing regarding these topics? Like what is a very good example is um, an engine in a boat. An engine in a boat uh, is very critical if it is a motorboat. Mm -hmm. If it is a sailing boat, then it becomes less critical. Yeah. But, and, and this is criticality in place. We have also crit criticality in time. If you are on a sailing boat and there is no wind and you're crossing a shipping line, then your motor becomes just as critical as it was on the motorboat before. This flexibility of uh, understanding your dependency and evaluating your dependency of the, of the different components in time and place that uh, you find that often organizations do not have in place. Very interesting, but do you also have like a, a real practical example? A good example is work that we did at a client that is very dependent on uh, custom-built trucks. So if one of the trucks fails, that actually means impairment of their production capacity. We built sensoring into the engines and the moving parts of, the, of those trucks. Uh, so by now we have created a uh, view upon the probability of failures of the, of the trucks. And this, if this goes beyond a certain threshold, we combine taking out those trucks while taking a production line down for maintenance. So uh, therefore we create a situation where it uh, happens at the same time. So it's optimizing of downtime. It is often that simple. At the same time, to understand the dependency in, t in terms of volume uh, takes homework. And, it, and to understand the dependency of an asset of its different components takes homework. And uh, it is that that we, uh, combined with our engineering partners, do for our clients. We are, we are part of Capgemini, mm -hmm. which is a system integrator. And this is about tying systems together. Exactly. Yeah. This is about connecting the machines on your shop floor to your production systems, to your, uh, to your work order management systems, and combining that data and creating an aggregated view to actually optimize the resource allocation, uh, your contractor network, the whole bunch. So we, we not only preach this and advise this and uh, figure out how to do it for a client, we actually build it for our clients. And then uh, we also have Society, and they built the, the specialized sensors for us and, uh, and, and create the connectivity at places where we would assume it would never be possible. Which allows us to help also yeah. everyone with actual yeah. implementation. Because we have the technology on board, we can actually cost far better than most of our competitors. So making the business case on the cost side uh, we have actually technology on board to, to do that. So there is a lot of added value in asset performance management. Um, what are the key takeaways? Key takeaway is that uh, the things that, we, that you haven't envisioned in, in the last years as being desirable within your maintenance organization 
are now actually uh, available at competitive cost. What we call the scalable solution does not only mean that you can grow it into something big, it also means that you can start small. You can experiment while actually starting to build the solution. And I think this is, this is something new. Thanks a lot for sharing all your insights. Uh, what if people want to know more about this topic? Can they find extra information somewhere? They can go to the Asset Management Landing page on our website and uh, you find it there. Thanks a lot. Yeah.